Hello, hello, I'm Pastor Sean. We're in Psalms 27 and I have your word for the day. Question for you, who or what are you afraid of? See, there's no shortage of things in this life that cause fear. I mean, if you turn on the news for any amount of time, you'll see that fear sells. And it's a sales tactic of the world and it tries to get your focus off the truth and onto itself. But even without TV, anxious and fearful thoughts can run rampant and destroy our lives. But then comes the Psalms. There's so many Psalms that confront and comfort us, and they confront our fearful hearts and remind us to not be afraid. But Psalms 27 gives us an even deeper look as to why. Let's read verses 1 through 5 now. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, here's why. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in His temple. For He will conceal me there when trouble comes. He will hide me in His sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. So, as a parent, I'm learning that there's a whole slew of things I can be afraid of, things that I didn't even think about until I actually had a kid. Like if my little girl has a fever, all the anxious thoughts run through my head. If my boy gets a stomach ache, it seems like my overactive imagination can get the better of me. But when I get down on my knees and I pray, one prayer above them all stands out, and it's actually reflected in Psalms 27. When fear in my heart takes over or I see my son struggling with life, I pray that my children would know God to the best of their ability in this moment of their life. Why? Because I know that if the only thing that they had in this world to get them through every fear, every hard time, every struggle would be a close relationship with Jesus. And I remind myself that Jesus' love is so big and He loves them more than I love them. And He will care for them more than I could ever imagine. And I've come to the conclusion that the same is true for me and the same is true for you. God loves us and cares for us more than we could ever imagine, and we can trust Him. When fear takes hold of our lives, it's a sign to lean into God more. The truth is, if we're seeking out what verse 4 tells us, the one thing that I ask the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in His perfections and meditating in His temple. You see, if we seek the Lord... We don't need to fear anything in this world because what we seek can't be taken away or stolen or destroyed by anything in this universe. So when you're afraid, make it a habit to call out to God. Ask Him for deeper trust. Ask Him for blessing. Ask for comfort and peace because God is our prize in this world, nothing else. And if you believe that Jesus has died for your sins and was risen again on the third day, then there is nothing in this world that can separate you from your prize. The peace, the love, the blessing, the victory beyond all victories that it supplies. But I know it's not always easy. So, if you have fear in your life and you're struggling to ask God for help or you're still not sure where to begin, then reach out to the pastoral staff here. You know, Calvary loves you and we'll pray with you. We'll pray for you. If you're here Saturday or Sunday, leave a prayer card with us. Leave a connect card. If you feel bold, leave a comment. Ask for prayer in this video. You don't even have to give details. Just ask for prayer and I'll pray for you. I'll pray with you. The fact of the matter is God is good, Calvary, and He desires us to cast off fear in this world by trusting Him and His love for us. It's so worthwhile to seek after and nothing can take it from you. So fear not. The Lord is our salvation. I love you a lot, Calvary. We'll see you around.